Two childhood friends, Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield, wanted to start a company but had no idea what to sell. They considered producing and selling bagels, but they didn't have enough money for equipment. So in 1978, with a $12,000 investment, they shared a gas station in Vermont with the local produce farmer, and they started selling ice cream, soups, crepes, and pottery. The word traveled fast, and their ice cream became incredibly popular overnight, and it was because of their unique recipes. But why were they so unique? Well, Cohen suffered from anosmia, which is the loss of smell. So because Cohen had no sense of smell and could barely taste, he strictly relied on a food's texture. He used his disability to his advantage by putting chunks of chocolate, fruits, cookies, and other items into their recipes. Customers loved their chunky ice cream, and they soon got enough money to improve and diversify some of their flavors. They celebrated their first anniversary with the free cone day to their customers, a tradition that still lives on today. One year later, they started packaging their ice creams and selling it, but sadly, none of the original flavors are packaged today. And Ben & Jerry's actually has a graveyard where they bury discontinued flavors and there are over 300 different flavors that are buried. The most popular flavor worldwide is chocolate chip cookie dough, and if you're a big Ben & Jerry's fan, then maybe you should work for them because each employee gets to take home three pints of ice cream per day. In 2000, Ben & Jerry's was sold to Unilever for about $326 million, and they still carry a lot of the Ben & Jerry traditions on today. Unilever owns over 400 brands and is nearly worth $145 billion. And that's how Ben & Jerry's got started. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram at Austin Daniel Petrie.